Hey, happy Friday and happy spring. You guys know how much that makes me happy. I honestly don't even feel like myself. Kind of like December through March and April, but now I feel like I'm starting to come alive. Besides the pollen, I am loving it. So, so many good things to show you today and so many things to tell you about. I actually had to write myself a note and I never have to do that. As you can tell, I'm not very scripted. So the first thing I want to tell you and remind you of, because I think today is the last day, but the City Beauty BOGO, buy one, get one. You guys know if you've been here at all, this is my favorite gloss. The clear is just like my go-to. I like this more than Chanel, Dior, La Mer, Lawless, any of those lip products I've tried. Even I just showed you that one from, oh gosh, it's from this person, Beauty Bio. I do like this one, but it's not the same. It's not the same. This is my go-to. But I will say this is plumping and it's sticky. The Beauty Bio one that if you didn't see my Nordstrom new discovery, you know, I got so excited I did the video that day. I'll put that up here. That one does turn your lips pink, but it, it plumps with hyaluronic acid. This one really plumps and conditions. So love that. I go through probably my most used ever, ever lip gloss. Then my next favorite... And I checked to make sure it was in stock because last time this happened, my favorite was out of stock and that is San Diego. This is just, I mean, it's so unique. It really is. It is such a good gloss. It looks good with so many lip liners. You're getting ready to see that soon. Matter of fact, I think today is Wednesday, but I'm making Friday's videos. I think tonight you're going to see the video where I try these on for you and you'll see that one in action. And then I know a lot of you like this one, Nude York. And there's a couple of different finishes. There is like a cream finish. This is very similar but better than the Anastasia ones or the Tarte ones. And then, and here's another creamy one that's watermelon, I believe. Yes, watermelon. This one has a lot of color. You could definitely wear that one on its own. I say wear a lip liner, but... You know, I understand. Okay, these two. This, the one that shocked me and I love so much is Tinseltown. And today I have on that lip liner or lip stick that I showed you in that Nordstrom video that is magnificent. You can see it's got lip liner on it. But this is the Nude Lip Lover's Dream. And I've got it on with my... Paradise with Christian Audette, that collab I did, lip liner. And I would have put on the Tarte Pearl over it, but I wanted to try this on for you. So Tinseltown, it looks, you know, like it's going to be a light pink. And I mean, it is, but it really comes off more like a clear with a pink little shimmer to it. But today I thought, what does this one, how much more color does this one have? Which is Los Angeles. I'm thinking this one might be... Oh this is the light pink version of San Diego. It's the pearly one. Okay, that's it. I'm putting this on. Okay, Los Angeles. Is that not... That is a good one. <laughs> I hate that I didn't try this one in the last video. That is amazing. You don't need any more. If you put any more on... If you're tempted to keep on doing it, you'll get those goopy, gloppy lips. I don't like those. And it will run everywhere. It's just it's just not good. So, wow. Los Angeles. If you're not a big gloss wearer, Tinseltown, Clear, San Diego, they're all good. And they're buy one, get one. And I believe today is the last day. So, loving that. Okay, first of all, let's look at my t-shirt. My Pammy t-shirt. Did you guys see... Her collection, so many of you sent this to me. Thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. It really, how flattering is it that you think of me in your life? You know what I mean? Or when you see something, don't think that that goes unnoticed with me. I appreciate it so much. That's why it's important to me to keep up with my DMs on Instagram and all of that. And I did see 
her, I know it was on YouTube, and I can't remember if it's net a poor day or if it's Vogue or who does it, but where she, what she would wear at each occasion. She kept saying, this is the Pam redone, this Pam redone that. So I did order this immediately. Here, let's go ahead and do my outfit of the day. Let's mix it up some. We're crazy like that. These are the jeans that I just showed you in my Zara haul. Love them. I probably could have sized down. They're Plenty, plenty big, but I kind of like them that way. The Zara, my favorites of all times. No shoes will ever compare, ever, ever. These little Zara clear heels, they're just like nothing shoes. You know what I mean? They're just like when you need the heel, you need a shoe, but you don't want anything. That's what these are. And then this is the medium t-shirt. And I kind of wish I would have gotten this small because see how it's a little bit too big right here? I have on my Soma bra, which is the best. I keep checking to see if they have pink ones or summer colors, and they haven't gotten any yet. I told John I'm sure I can shrink it. So this is the t-shirt, and I love it, love it, love it. And I actually signed up for the wait list on the jeans. I want the jeans. I regret not getting them when I ordered this, but I thought, oh my gosh, they were like $500. And I didn't do it. And then so many of you were asking me about them and everything. And I feel like I let you do it a little bit. So sorry, if they come back in stock, I will get them and try them. Okay, so there's that. What was I, Where was I going with that? Okay, so my makeup is Pammy Inspired today. I did use this new palette that I showed in that same Nordstrom video. You guys, I'm not really crazy about this whole concept. I wish, you know, who cares, but it's not that pretty. But these eyeshadows are what I'm wearing today and they are gorgeous. They are pressed pigments. You can see how they are just smooth, <laughs> very smooth, very pigmented, and I love them. Another thing I wanted to tell you about today is it's that time of year for the Beautylish gift card event. So every year they do this where if you go on their website and you spend $100, you get a $20 gift card. So this year I asked to try some brushes to test out for you guys. This is the first edition Wayne Goss face set. I've been using these, just these, for... Gosh, almost two weeks. The only brush I was missing was an eyeliner brush like I use today. I like the Sigma. I'll list it down below, but I use it with my cream liner. But these brushes are so good. These I have used. I don't think I've used this one. That's the only one I haven't used. But these, like this one with blush or highlighter is perfect. You know how much I love this, this shape. This one, which one am I using? Okay, this one's powder. This one and this one I use with like bronzer contour, depending on the look that I want. Sometimes like today, I wanted to look a little bit more sculpted and chiseled and just a little bit more made up. If I don't, if I kind of want an all over bronze, I'll use the bigger one, but love these. Wayne Goss does good brushes. I think we all know that. And then these are the Sonia G Fusion Eye Set. Let me let you see the shape of them. And the reason she sent me these is because I asked her for some brushes that I could use for powder and cream because I have gotten back just like onto the MAC groundwork. That MAC groundwork is the best one and done eyeshadow ever. And a lot of people use it for a base, but I can use it just as an all over eyeshadow. It's a taupey, perfect chocolatey milk brown. It's perfect. So she said these brushes were the best with cream and powder, and they are so good. I've been using, okay, here again, I haven't used this big one. I will say that, but I use this one as my first color that I put in the crease. Then I sharpen it up and do the outer V and, okay, now I use another one for that. Sharpen it up, use the outer V and the inner corner. And then these two I've been using for the, like today, the shimmer on the lid. And I've been taking this one and just doing like this in the darkest color of my palettes and going over my eyeliner. That is one of those steps 
that for some reason I'll forget sometimes and my eyeliner never looks as good as it does when I put a little bit of that dark eyeshadow over the liner. So these two would be something great for you to get and then get the $20 back off of every hundred. And don't forget that Beautylish also carries Charlotte Tilbury, like my latest, one of my favorite lipsticks, Icon Baby. They carry this, you guys. I was watching Andre Ali and she was doing a makeup look that she did on someone that was at the Golden Globes. I didn't even know who it was. And she said she had been loving this bronzer and it was not easy to find. Nordstrom didn't have this color, but to Shanta Kai, and my exact words to myself when I tried this for the first time is I cannot wait to tell my girls about this bronzer. It is, it's the best Shantakai product I think I've ever tried. Nothing's impressed me like this. I mean, this bronzer is just extraordinary. I've used it every day. I've got it on today. I, the blush I have on is that new little palette that I showed you last week. That little mini one from Ulta, the Natasha Denona, I've been loving it. Not as much as my Charlotte Tilbury Climax blush, which is another thing you can get at Beautylish. Oh, and hair, they carry the Orbe, that new line that I've been trying. Okay, so let's segue into hair. Also, the Orbe Gold Lust Dry Heat Protection Spray. So good. Okay, I am trying all kinds of hair products, you guys, but I don't want to give you a lot of feedback until I get to the point where I can tell you which one I think is best. I can almost say there's going to be good sets for different reasons, but no matter what, this heat protection spray is amazing. Every time you have seen me with my hair curled, the last probably three or four times I have used this and I love it. So that would be something else you could get. Okay, I ordered my favorite makeup sponges from Amazon. I really, really like these with the little wedge for, this is what I use for my foundation. This is what I use, the regular shape for concealer everywhere and putting the powder over everything. So love those. And then I saw this on a Jackie Ina video. I love watching when they go to fashion week and I think it was one of her fashion week videos. And she talked about this lotion. I immediately went to Amazon to see if I could get it. I don't think I could find it on Amazon. I think I got this from Walmart and they delivered it from my store. And it's the Vaseline Radiant Nourishing Body Lotion Even Tone 1% Niacinamide Coconut Oil Vitamin C and Peptides. Okay, this is good stuff, but let me tell you, that coconut oil, you will feel like a cocoa bear when you get through with this. I mean, you will feel like not bad, but it is a little much for me putting on my little silky pajamas after I do this. So what I've been doing is one pump of this and then one pump of whatever lotion you like. I've been using the Kiehl's Creme Decor, and sometimes I even do one pump to two pumps, like when I'm doing my legs. But see, it's thick, and let me do. Believe me, I can use it. How can my face be so oily and my skin be so dry? I guess because it's cold. It's still cold here, but see, it doesn't give you like it's not something that's going to get on your clothes or anything like that. As much as I do love the way stuff like that looks, I just can't do it. I just cannot bring myself to put on body makeup. Okay, it isn't like any of those real strong cocoa butter or coconut. It's almost, is it supposed to be unscented? Co-created with dermatologists. Don't even know. Non-greasy, fast-absorbing. It is on um, 1%. Let's see. It says reduces dark spots and even skin tone in just two weeks. I don't know about that. We'll see. A 72-hour moisture. Yeah, no parabens, no phthalates added, non-comedogenic, powered by science. I can't smell hardly anything. So it's just a very, very light fragrance, but I think it's worth trying for sure. Okay, I keep getting, I go to the hair and then I go to something else. This I would have never in a million years seen this, heard of this. Evidently, it is a TikTok favorite. 
and Morgan that does my hair, which I am getting my roots done today at 12. She said that some girl said this changed her hair. It was the best she ever tried. So I ordered it. It's the Glimmer 10-Minute Superfood Hair Mask. Restores hair health, softness, and shine. Okay, I feel so confident about telling you about this one. It is very, very moisturizing. And Morgan always says to me, you need moisture more than you need repair. You need moisture more than you need repair. And I think she's afraid I'm going to go overboard with like the proteins and stuff. So I do try to concentrate on moisture things. That's how this is. It has the consistency of, see how it just is like swirling around? It's like, it's like yogurt or it's like the fat-free yogurt, you know? It's not like the stiff yogurt. I don't even know how to describe it. Like it would pour right out of here if that tells you anything. And every time I have used this, you guys compliment me on how shiny my hair is. Now, last night I used it, but I haven't brushed my hair because a couple of different reasons. One, I didn't spend much time on it because I'm getting it done today. Two, since I was doing more of a Pammy look, I wanted to leave it kind of undone. Three, I wanted to show you the pure craziness. Hold on, let me go get a mirror. Okay, I wanted to show you this too. This is from the t-shirt. I thought that was cool. Classic T Pam medium. Okay, this, you guys, all over my head, I have hair about this long. It's air, you can see it, see how it's making a swoop here and a swoop there. Here it is. Okay, it's all over. And when I go to dry my hair, it is like, you can see like a different, it does like this. It puts a different little texture in my hair. It is just like after you had a baby. Remember how much hair we lost? I remember my hair girl, this this was back a long time ago. It was after I had Will, I remember her saying, I was getting scared. I lost a lot. And that's what it is. It's everywhere. It is everywhere, all over. There's just a whole new thing. I tell you, come back in about three years. <laughs> I'm going to have a gorgeous head of hair. I am thankful that, you know, you figure it's got to be down there too, and it will start filling in. I, you know, a lot of people have said, Lisa, COVID makes you lose your hair. Well, I, this started, I just had COVID. So I know it wasn't the COVID. I'd had COVID before, but it was a couple years ago. I feel 90% sure was the shingles vaccine. I think it made me, I did have a fever. Remember I had that reaction to it. I don't, I hate to call it a bad reaction because I think it was somewhat expected, not by me, but I think that my doctor didn't seem concerned. But I remember losing hair. Honestly, I remember one time picking up my round brush and thinking, wow, Brooke must have used this brush, you know, because I, you always shed some and it shows up a lot when you're blonde with a round, dark round brush. And then not too long ago, John had to clean hair out of the shower, like take the thing off and clean the hair out. So it all, it all makes sense now why I noticed all of these differences. I mean, I do think I overdid it with the color, all of that stuff. But I really think it had something to do with that vaccine. Now, I'm not, I get every vaccine I'm supposed to get. I'm not saying vaccines are bad. I'm just saying it can happen. I actually, you know, I feel good about having all this new hair everywhere. But I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. I'm actually looking forward to letting it dry naturally. Oh, and I did get something, something new. The anti-frizz cream from Way. I actually purchased it from their website. But this is something that I like to use when I let my hair dry naturally in the summer. Normally in the summer, I'll take a shower after I walk, which I have an update to that too. And I'll go sit on the porch. And you know, it's it's hot and, you know, warm until like 8.30 or 9. So I have lots of time for it to dry. In the winter, it's not that way. And so it's not as, it's not as easy to do that. But that's coming up soon. So I will try this and let you know I have not tried it. But I did get these from the Way website. And if any of you out there love laundry like I do, I purchased these. They're Way times Dead Cool, which I don't even know what that is. But they're dryer sheets and they're scented with Melrose Place, which is a velvety rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and musk. 
I actually ordered two boxes. I gave one to Brooke, but um, I got these so I could get free shipping. You know, it's like, why do we love free shipping? But I could have spent like $8.95 or $10.95 on shipping or I could have gotten these. You know, it was one of those things. And I love stuff like that. Okay, speaking of love stuff like that, last week or week before I did a campaign with Australian Gold and I actually looked up when and where this was founded because this was not one of the most popular tanning lines when I was growing up. When I was growing up, it was Copper Town, Hawaiian Tropic, Banana Boat, and do you remember Banda Soleil? Do you remember that oil that was like peat colored? I mean, I, you know, had all of that, but Brooke always used this. So I looked it up, no wonder. It was founded in 1985. So that's not that I wasn't still using it, but it might not have made it here where I live in North Carolina. It was actually founded or started to be sold in Cocoa Beach, Florida, and it got so popular that it blew up and it is what it is today. You guys, the scent of this is, I think it's called, hold on, let me see if I can find the name of the scent. Okay, Cocoa Dreams. It's called Cocoa Dreams Fragrance. It is so good. It is so good. It's so pretty. It's like a suntan scent that is pretty. And what I like about this is they offer like SPF 15 with an instant bronzer, um, instant bronzer, SPF 30, and they even have instant bronzer with 15, ultimate hydration 30, and this one exotic oil intensifier and what you do it's got the carrot oil which i think is what was in the band of soleil i'm not sure banana extract and tea tree oil color boost maximizer so what they say is put your sunscreen on first let it sink in and then put this on over the top and i will be using that very soon. I think our pool opens in April and I cannot wait to get out there. I'm hoping my code is still good. This isn't sponsored. I just wanted to tell you about it because I loved it. Brooke and I both loved it. It smells so good. Okay, speaking of going to the pool, these are the other key sunglasses. Remember the black ones that I showed you last week? You guys, must-haves. Look at these. Is that not... How, how can I describe how good this is? First of all, it's the perfect little amount that you need, like when you're driving. You know, you know I love to be able to see through the lenses. You know how much I love pink. It's the shape that I like. It's got the nose pieces. I just love it. Very Paris Hilton. Very, who is the other girl that I always forget her name? Carmen Electra kind of looking. I love them. Very simple sides and they're key. They're not crazy expensive. So must-haves. And then I had a Sephora order. I'm getting together my Sephora recommendations. I'm taking it serious this year. A lot of times I'll make a video and I'm just telling you about my favorites, you know, things you should, should stock up on. This year I'm breaking it down into hair, new favorites, meaning like, say for instance, the pearl tart, things like that, because I have to remember not everyone has been here 15 years and I am trying some new stuff. I just placed another big order this morning that has some very promising things in it. So I did a re refill or repurchase of my Too Faced Fluff and Hold Brow, my favorite. I did this, which is the Born to Be Unforgettable by Killian. What got me on this is it has a cola scent to it. And I sprayed it this morning. Okay, it's definitely not a summer scent at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, don't get this unless you like Jazz Club or The Boy Smells. Almost like that. Oh, it's so good. Okay, what else? It's definitely vibey, boyfriendy, And it does have the cola smell in it. It even reminds me of, remember those lip smackers and you would get like Dr. Pepper and 7-Up and all of that? So it is really good. I'm not going to return it, but it's not summery. Very wintry and very boyfriendy. Like you have to love fragrance to love this, but it is very unique and I like it. Um, I did order a really special one, summery one coming up. The Estee Lauder new one is fabulous. All that stuff. Okay, speaking of, 
A friend of mine told me I needed to try this. I would have never in a million years thought to try this, but it's the Find Comfort Body and Hair Fragrance Mist from Rare Beauty. Evidently, it was trending. It's a super fine fragrance mist infused with biotin, niacinamide, and peach flower extract to revitalize your hair and body throughout the day with a fresh, addictive scent. I will give it 10 out of 10 for the look of the bottle. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, there's something a little bit sharp in it. What was it again? What were, what were the peach flower extract? Okay, fresh, fresh. There's definitely, I was gonna say there's something sharp in it, but it's something fresh and it's, wow. I mean, that is a fine, let me, you know what? I'm gonna spray my hair and we'll see if Morgan notices it today. That, that's impressive how fine that is the hair mist. Ooh, that's sexy. Okay, I really like it. It's very different. Okay, it's very spring summer appropriate. I'm trying to think of I'm trying to identify these scents. Okay, you know the top notes are the ones you smell first. They're the lightest. I learned this on Skillshare. They're the lightest in size molecule. So they'll come off first. They'll evaporate first. And then you'll get to the middle notes and then what lingers are the heavier, bigger molecules at the bottom. And I think that's where you're going to find the comfort. Whatever is in this, I'll have to read up on it, but I'm guessing it has something like sandalwood or musk or amber or one of those that gives that comforting smell. This is good. It is not bum bum cream smell. It's not Bath and Body Works. It is impressive. I have to say that is good and it's pretty. Okay, speaking of impressive... Gosh, this is so cute. I think this was a free gift. The Jisoo hair oil. I used to devour Negan's videos. It, it was at my old house. She, I think she is one of the most beautiful girls and this is her company. And I remember getting this a long time ago and I didn't care for, and I, I still don't. That's not my favorite way of getting a hair oil is with that dropper. But when we went to Florida, I had a little sample size. I don't remember it being this small, but I used it there. I bet it was this one. And I loved it. Every time I used it, I was thinking, because, you know, I was like, that's before I had it lightened again. And that's when I was really sad about my hair color. And I was thinking it was all going to break off. Okay, it wasn't this one. It was, it might have been that one. And maybe I gave it to Brooke. Anyway, I did give it to Brooke because she forgot to bring a hair oil. Wow. That's cool to take in your purse or something if you're like me and could put hair oil on all day. But I really like it. It's good. It's a good hair oil. Okay, this is something I wanted to try. The Givenchy Mascara. It looked like it had a wand. That would be good for me. Wow. Bougie Mascara. It does. Look at, look at that wand. <laughs> That is a good one. Oh my goodness. That looks so promising. Today I have on Benefit Bad Gal, which is so good. It is getting up there with my L'Oreal Bambi. I really like that bad gal. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to be prepared in my Sephora recommendations. Okay, this is something else I think Andre Ali used. And I've had this before, but I like using these products like this more in the summer for some reason and it is the shade and illuminate from tom ford and the color i got is intensity one it's kind of like the chanel bronzer universal but we'll see i'll use it and tell you if i like that one better because i'll tell you what i like best these i also showed you in my zara video you guys I was walking down the steps yesterday from upstairs in my office and I just looked down and I was like, I love these shoes. The reason I love them is because they're classic. They go with anything, any like long maxi dresses. They're going to be good for me to take like on vacation when I want to wear a heel, but I need to shove something in my tote for when my feet get tired. Last night, matter of fact, I looked online to see what colors were available. They have a really pretty red, but these look so good with everything. They're classic, and I love the way my toe comes all the way to the end. It like 
my foot fills up the shoe and that's the look that I like. I don't like it when there's a bunch left on the ends and you don't feel like you're gonna trip, they're secure. And best of all, I can put them on without even undoing the buckle. So that is something. Then this is something I ordered for my mom from Amazon. She found this line. I haven't ever heard of it, but evidently it's really popular. It's called, I think, Poppins or Pop-Ups. But I ordered her the orange. We couldn't decide between the orange and the red. So I ordered both and the red hasn't come in yet. But I wanted to show it to you before I take it over to her. But it's a beach bag and it comes with this. See that? This little section is hard like that. So you put this in there and it's made out of like the neoprene. And then you have this in here like you put your, you know, money, things like that. I'm thinking of when we used to go to the beach and to the water park. And you have all your stuff in here and you put your um, membership cards and the money and the cash and the ice cream money and all that stuff in here. And then it has all of these pockets on the side and you can snap these so that it is, you know, a little bit more compact. It does this. I'm thinking this would be a great boat bag too, a great boat bag. I just thought with spring and summer coming, some of you might appreciate that too. And there was probably 20 different colors, so many. I probably shouldn't even show you this because I don't know, I haven't used everything, but I ordered this little Dyson kit all because I wanted this comb. I always see people using this Dyson comb and it's always out of stock. So they have this kit that you can buy and last night I tried to use this little round brush. I just, I'm used to a big round brush right now. I can't use that one. I haven't used the paddle brush, but I've wanted these. Look at these hair clips. I was watching the Dyson hairstylist do, I think it was Tamara Kalenic, and they put her hair up with those. And so when I saw this little kit, I thought, I am going to get that and try it. And I've had it sitting out here ready to show to you. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for being here. I just think about you all the time. So appreciative. Um, Rolex watch, wolf ring from Aaron Fader. And my earrings are my Dean Davidson, my favorite Dean Davidson earrings, just my large studs. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.